at different levels, it's time to do something different. <laughs> okay, this is the recipe for a spiritual bath to brighten your aura to secure all the things that's for you. Um, I seen this recipe on one of Bobby Hammett's uh, lectures and I wanted to try it out. This is an old hoodoo spiritual um, tradition to cleanse with ammonia. Oh, I got to tell you the ingredients. But this is a old tradition to cleanse your energy. You know, very old traditional recipe. Okay, so I have my bath water ran. And we're gonna start off with the first ingredient. Ammonia. Three capfuls of ammonia. Three capfuls of vinegar, whether it's apple cider vinegar or distilled vinegar. This is the only type of vinegar that I have on deck right now. Three capfuls of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. A half cup of sea salt. I'm gonna use whatever is remaining in this bag. It's not much. I use all of that. This is the part that I'm concerned about because I know about chemistry. The mixture of the ammonia and bleach create, you know, <laughs> this chemical gas, but it's three capsules. So I'm going to follow the instructions to a T. Okay, and he said three capsules of bleach. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And a white candle. I have this small white candle here that I'm gonna burn during my baths and my intentions here and allow the spirit world to do what it's gonna do. <laughs> okay. To further set the mood, I'm gonna burn this crown chakra incense from the Dollar Tree, frankincense. Frankincense is a very good um, uh, scent or resin, good, uh, I don't know, resin to burn, either whether it's in its natural form or incense form to help cleanse energy as well. Okay. I'm going to add it to the incense holder. Okay, here we go. Adding in the sea salt. Adding in the lemon juice. Because the cap is so small for the vinegar, this is the vinegar just pour it in the dish okay so here's the scary part the bleach three capsules precisely one e two to uh get some bleach out there for this thing okay i had to move the rug so what i'm gonna do is stir all of this in with the setting intention to brighten my order and to secure everything that's for me is for me everything that's coming for me and to cleanse my energy anything that doesn't allow me to Shine bright. Okay, so I'm mixing it really good because that bleach is in here. <laughs> I'm gonna add the final ingredient, which is dun 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 the ammonia. I'm running the water again to kind of dilute it before adding the ammonia. I 
forgot to mention, I'm gonna fade you down in here. There we got all the negative energies from them toilet demons. Okay, here I go. The ammonia. Let's do it. I'm so nervous. I'm dropping the top. Oh, it ain't even open. E. Okay. What? I was so nervous I cut off the camera after I poured it in. Let's do two. Two. Once again, this is the ammonia. I'm pouring the cap to oh, shake it. Oh, final cap full. I speak power over this bath. Ain't no fear. Okay. Third cap. Bam, it's done. Adding more water. Nothing so far. Okay, before I get started, I'm gonna light this candle and set my intentions for this cleanse and for my aura to be bright. And I'm using the color white, but he said you could use white, pink, black, blue, or no black, white, pink, blue, white, pink, blue, whatever color your spirit leads you to use. Okay, and this was from a Bobby Hemet lecture. Now it's time to soak for 15 to 20 minutes or longer. Put out my water. By the way, I am up during witching hours and doing this. It's been about 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna stay in just a little bit longer. <sighs> I'm feeling relaxed. I haven't fully submerged. I don't know if I'm gonna submerge my head in this. We'll see. So he said, carry some of the candle wax around with you after your bath. So I pour some out on my tea candle so it can harden and I can carry around with me once I'm done throughout my day. I don't know how long, but my eyelashes came off and it was very drying. <laughs> I'm dry. But I do feel brighter and lighter. Now I'm about to anoint myself with my handmade blessing oil or holy oil. Oh, or real big. Okay, gotta get there out there in the ethers. <sighs> that final part was my finishing touches, anointing myself with blessed oil and protecting my aura, shielding myself. Um, I guess I'm gonna come back with the part two to really report on how this bath made me feel but overall I feel good um we'll see how my energy interacts with my environment tomorrow and throughout the week now how would I rate this <sighs> I don't know if this is something that I'm gonna do on a regular basis just because of the um, chemical component like there are other natural ingredients that you can use that's just as powerful but i wanted to try it out so i'll keep you guys you know updated so far so good i'm so fresh so clean yeah ain't nobody doping <laughs> okay i'm just saying <laughs>